and head of the Ukrainian National Media Literacy Project called FILTER, which is a Ukrainian government-backed media literacy initiative that was launched in 2021. Our goal is to promote media literacy to various audiences in Ukraine and to ensure that all the media literacy efforts in Ukraine are well coordinated and facilitated. Despite being a relatively young institution, FILTER has survived quite a few watershed moments in the Ukrainian history. And one of them was on 24th of February when Russia started its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Just the day before the invasion, uh, our colleagues and other partners, including uh, international organizations, news organizations, civil society, were discussing the draft of the Ukrainian uh, national media literacy strategy for the next five years. And then when the war came, all our plans became irrelevant. Suddenly, after 24th of February, most of Ukrainians realized that information became a threat and it could be used as a weapon in a physical war. So we had to come up with such solutions as fact-checking lessons, express lessons that would last no longer than 40 minutes so that Ukrainians who were sheltering from bombs and missiles could join these lessons and use the practical advice instantly. The war, unfortunately, has become an accelerator of the media de literacy development processes in Ukraine. According to the uh, Index of Media Literacy, the number of Ukrainians with the above average level of media literacy increased to 81%. However, there is still a lot of work to do for us, despite the fact that majority of Ukrainians realize the need to invest in their media literacy, there are still quite a few challenges for us to tackle. Firstly, dealing with Ukrainians who survived war traumas, people who fled the war zone, those who witnessed deaths with their own eyes, those whose houses were ruined and destroyed by the enemy. These people are still suffering from mental problems that might prevent them from uh, being involved in media literacy training. Therefore, our challenge is to ensure that when developing media literacy interventions, we take these people's needs and pains into account. Secondly, having local communities' voices heard. Uh, as of now, uh, the plan to rebuild Ukraine is being discussed among the political elites and um, experts. There is little understanding and no data as to what Ukrainians in smaller towns and villages need and how they would see media literacy uh, playing a role in uh, their rebuilding and reconstruction. Another insight of the war is that media literacy is no longer considered as just a skill that enables users to verify information and evaluate content. It's much broader than that. Media literacy is about responsible content creation and sharing. It's also about uh, enabling safety of your family and of your loved ones. Moreover, media literacy is becoming a part of social cohesion programs. Um, Ukrainians are dealing with a lot of inner weaknesses, which are amplified by our external enemy, by Russian propaganda, who picks up every single weakness we have and makes it look like a massive threat to the Ukrainian society. Building dialogues, ensuring that people are able to listen to each other and to take others' opinions into consideration without falling for emotions and becoming aggressive, is another part of media literacy that we haven't worked much with. So I believe that uh, reconsidering media literacy itself, promoting it as something that improves people's well-being and, um, and mental health can be a great tool for our project as well as for other initiatives. And finally, I'd like to leave you with two questions to think about. Firstly, how do we ensure that our societies are prepared for the critical crisis situations uh, and what role should media literacy play in this preparation? And secondly, the question is, um, what would you want Ukrainians to share? Which expertise and knowledge would you want us to provide you with in order to prepare your societies for these potential crisis situations? <laughs>